as you know, I like to um, check my change every once in a while, and also um, when I go to the gr local grocery store, I'll check the uh, coin star in the um, catch bin from all the rejects. And uh, there was actually a handful of coins there, but one of them really caught my eye was this. Um, it doesn't feel like the Cooper Nickel clad. It doesn't uh, sound like it. Uh, so here are two regular nickels. I dropped them on a hard surface. That definitely sounds different compared to the uh, normal stuff. Um, I mean, when I can't compare the edges, definitely a difference in metal. Weight-wise, they're about a half, about a half a gram off, maybe three quarters of a gram. gram. Uh, so definitely not a quarter, um, but it is a neat idea. It seems like somebody did a sand cast of a quarter of out of either aluminum, tin, or zinc. And um, uh, that's the only way I can think of. They just took a 1988 quarter and pressed it into a sand cast and poured either zinc, uh, tin, or aluminum mold or cast out of it. So definitely a neat oddity to go in my collection. They did a pretty good job of uh, making sure it's on coin alignment. Really mute on the detail. It looks like it was a 1988P that they recast. So I will definitely keep that one and put it in my ID collection. And next, kind of a recent purchase. Um, spent about $60. Got some cheap stuff. Um, I collect 1975 coins from around the world since the U.S. did not um, mint quarters, halves, and uh, $8 in 1975. They minted them, but they were um, dated 1976 for the Bicentennial. So those of us that were born in 1975 were literally gypped out of a birth set. So I uh, decided just to collect coins from around the world from 1975. First up is a Jordan 5 or 50 fills. which I will re-flip these and put them in my own um, format. Next up is a 25 fills from Jordan. I'm not sure if it's pronounced fills or fields. Fills or feels from Jordan. And that's the problem I'm trying to use a uh, lamp is trying to keep that glare off. So really nice coins there. Next up is a five feels from my rack. With the scalloped edge and the three palm trees. Of 
for those that don't read Arabic that zero looking number that is the Arabic symbol for five next up um, a five bunny from uh, Romania I don't know if it's five bunny or bunny on there. It's in really nice condition. Uh, one kopeck from Russia in 1975. Which I'm not sure if I have a Russian coin in my uh, 1975 collection. And then a 12 and a half centimeters from Venezuela, 1896. It's such an odd uh, denomination. Literally a half of a quarter or an eighth of a, uh, I want to say either a peso or a bolivar or something like that. Well, I forgot what their um, currency is. And a five centimeters from 1896. And then to add to my um, German Not Geld collection. Like I said, I do love these. They're very beautiful uh, artwork on these. A lot of it is like hand card wood, um, uh, wood ink. And uh, these are from the different states and the uh, cities, principalities. Uh, throughout the uh, German Empire during the Weimar Republic. So these are like 1919 through the early 20s. What we have here is a 50 penny from Granberg. Again, beautiful artwork on these. Another 50 Finnig. Um, I want to say. Yeah, it's 19, 11, 19, 10. I'm not sure if that's the actual dates on those. I have these registered in New Mista, but I don't read um, the German Latin letters very well to know exactly what that is. Next is a uh, 25 Finnick from uh, Stalt Bopard. Starting to run out of uh, sleeves for my bills and need to order some more sleeves. I'm starting to go through the recycled ones. Again, beautiful artwork on these. 50 Finnick. Kind of beat up, but uh, still is kind of neat to get. Uh, these are only like almost two dollars each one, so I mean, definitely doesn't break the bank. I want to say that's fifty thousand uh, marks. Uh, two. Oops. 
to uh, five Phoenix. It's the same bill, except they use different inks for them. Uh, there's the one with the uh, dark blue with a light blue background, and there's dark blue with a gold background. And a 25 Fennec from Eld Eldigston or Eldigson or something. I'm still, I'm terrible with actual German names. Again, I did find these on the Mista, and I went ahead and registered mine on there. And the fact they were only used for maybe, maybe a year, maybe a couple of years, they're in the they're in great shape. Uh, one mark and a two mark. Again, beautiful shape or beautiful uh, artwork on these. A uh, one mark from Eldexon or Eldexon. artistic all the way around uh, 1944 military currency from France uh, to France I collect military currency every once in a while uh, an actual two mark this is actually from the uh, German um government. And this one is actually a federal currency for the whole country. And just a few little extra thank you for purchasing uh, notes throughout here. Uh, I'll say it's Chinese saying uh, Yi Zhao and Zhao and Yi Zhao. Not sure what the denomination is on that one. I do know it's probably a fraction. And in 1986, $2 Canadian bill. So, so basically, for $60, all those coins plus the, uh, the not guilt currency. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. Till then, have a great week and a great weekend.